my grandma and my grandpa they uh they gave me this mug and they put tommy on one side the dead texan on the other side because they because that was the name of my sunglasses and they think that's like my nickname or what people call me <laughs> it's really uh funny i love them though it's my grandpa's birthday he actually just got vaccinated so i'm going to spend some time and go on a fishing trip with him in uh, may so i'm really excited for that honestly i thought i'd start this video out with like a hair update so you can see my hair is growing I don't think it's at the point as it was when I started this YouTube channel, but it's definitely growing. I'm not really sure what to do with it. There's this hairstylist in Los Angeles, in the Los Angeles area. She looks really good, and I was thinking about going to her. She does kind of like wolf cuts, or, and she dyes hair too. Maybe a mullet, maybe a wolf cut. That's where I'm at right now. This is gonna cover everything from clothes to stuff for my room to anything else like books. My closet, you know, really isn't made for the spring season, but I definitely can make it work. I'm thinking for the spring, a lot of tank tops, a lot of t-shirts. A lot of clothes, but more importantly, it's about the knowledge. A lot of book reading, a lot of Joe Rogan listening. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so I thought first I'd kind of cover, I got some skincare stuff because... Yeah, I did get a lot of skincare stuff, but someone stole it off my porch. So I'm currently waiting on a refund from Amazon. And then we're back to the grind of skincare, taking care of our skin. As you can see, here's a close-up. Skin's not looking that great. Books. Definitely gonna need a lot more photo books. I might make a video just like reviewing some of the photo books I have after I like get time to go through them all. I have a lot over here. So, all my books kind of land in the corner of my desk. We've got some here and here. I think most of them consist of photo books, some manga. Not that much of a weeb, but I did get some because I was at a Japanese bookstore or something. And I just got a couple. But I'm definitely going to get some more photo books. But yeah, I've, I mean, I'm, right now I'm reading uh, this book by Haruki Murakami. It's kind of just a bunch of uh, short stories. It's called The Elephant Vanishes. And actually, one of the uh, stories in this book inspired a movie called Burning. I think it's on Netflix. It's based on a short story from this book called Barn Burning. And so I wanted to get it and read it. And so far, all the short stories I really like. Very good, though. And I'm definitely going to read more of his work. Um, try to read more and journal as well. I think it's, it'd be cool when I'm older to, you know, look back and just see, like, where my mind was at and what my day-to-day -day life looked like. It's kind of cool to see, even looking back a couple months ago, you kind of realize how, how sometimes worthless the things that you're worrying about are when you get down the line, like six months later, you're like, dude, why was I, you know, worrying about that? It kind of played out and it's kind of cool. Just now we'll go into the clothes department. I know a lot of you guys probably are thinking, you know, what am I going to get this spring? Well, I'm here to help. So I'm very much lacking in the shoe and pants department. I recently got some Yeezy boots and those have been nice. Oh. <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> oh shoot, dude, that color is nice. I know. Dude, these are nice and they're like worn in pretty nice too. Yeah. Should I put them on? Yeah. Should I make the loudest fit in the world? Oh, dude, yeah, those are nice. <laughs> this is like a Shia LaBeouf on acid. Yeah. But I want to get some lows, some some Boris Salomon Bamba 2 lows in the brown colorway or the Ann Wander collab. I've been looking at both. I'm not sure which I'm going to get yet. They're kind of expensive and waiting for them to go on sale, but very versatile. The brown ones, I love the character that you can see in the shoe. 
They have like an object die or something. So it's definitely uneven. I think I'm gonna get some fuzzy Birkenstocks. The Birkenstocks with the fuzzy on the inside. I have a pair of Birkenstocks, but I've worn them for so long that they're kind of gross now. I thought I'd show you the bend in my Birkenstocks from wearing them for so long. I think these are 41, but as you can see, they have actually bended to conform to how you walk when you're walking for so long in these, they bend. Wow, crazy uh, observation I've made. Look at that. And I wanna get a new pair. The fuzzy ones though, cause they're comfortable. Hello everyone, so I bet you're wondering what, what tops am I gonna have to go with this spring? See, this is a small tank top on me, all right? This is a small, it's a little, you know, it's a little, it's a little big. I hope to find some extra small tank tops because this is just unacceptable. This is completely and utterly unacceptable. I'm going to take two of my t-shirts I own, probably crop them right here, right at the waistline. This spring, I'm going to be buying some new tank tops from Uniqlo. Hopefully they'll actually fit me because I'm a pretty skinny guy. I think for me this spring, it's about kind of diversifying with, or kind of trying to explore your boundaries because with the weather, it gets warm. So I think striped tees are a good option. Button ups, great option. And also pants, like some jeans, skinny jeans. Yeah, I mean, this spring, it's kind of like a mix. So I'll probably be wearing pants a lot. Hopefully I'll get a nice button up, maybe from Bode. Maybe get a striped tee. Vest would be nice. It's just some inspo. This isn't exactly what I've gotten. It's just some photos out of my computer that might help you guys, but Personally for me, button up, vest, pants, keep it simple, maybe a striped shirt as well. Another cop need to get this spring, socks. If I'm gonna be wearing shorts a lot more, socks are hugely underrated. Can really pull together an outfit, especially when wearing shorts, you can spice it up, wear boots, socks. Especially when you play with the colors and like the proportions, the materials, get some hiking socks. It can get pretty extreme. Cologne. I got some Jazz Club by Margiela. If you want to know what I smell like, that's what I currently smell like. Another thing I want to make a video on or do is get some more room decor. I want like a bookshelf. I've been shooting a lot of photography. I'm going to get into that more at the end of the video, but I want to maybe frame some of my photos. Maybe I'll start selling some too. I haven't really thought too much about it, but I just want to get a clock, a table, or a TV stand. Let's get this desk in. Oh my. I'm getting a new keyboard. I'm gonna make a video on that. So I'm not even gonna say much about it until I make the video on it, but yeah, it's gonna be sweet. It's my favorite time of the month. I just switched my calendar. So it says, feeling cute. Might knock some stuff off the counter later, IDK. <laughs> Thought I'd talk about basically what I've been up to as of late. I'm doing a lot of photography. I'm sorry I haven't shared any of it yet. I'm just kind of like taking it slow, taking it easy. I want to work on a photo book, but it's probably going to be like a year down the line. So I'm taking my time, not trying to stress over it, letting it fall into place. For YouTube wise, I want to make a lot more content. I'm hopefully going to be able to buy a camera soon because I hate, I just fucking hate this thing. This stupid device. I need ideas. I want, I want, fashion will always be a part of my YouTube channel, but I don't, oh, I want to like do some stuff like other stuff, like lifestyle. You know, I have a lot of other hobbies and I feel like I could show you guys some of those hobbies, you know, maybe go out, shoot some photos. Um, gonna make that keyboard video. But yeah, the brand, I'm still working on it. Just taking it slow, trying to make some cool stuff. Uh, I'm not trying to stress out about that either, but that doesn't mean I'm not working on it because I am I'm making sure I make stuff that I like. I don't want to release just anything. Anyways, I apologize for my chaotic ass videos. Usually they don't have a structure until I like record the first part. And then over time, I'm like adding stuff and not adding stuff because bro, I'm just disorganized. I'm not a very organized person at all. So basically what's up with me? <laughs> the Rose Bowl is the second Sunday of April. So if you guys want to see a video there, I'll definitely make a video. My friend Cam who runs Age Threads is coming through to LA to come to the Rose Bowl. And a lot of my friends, like my friends from Austin are actually coming to the Rose Bowl. So maybe I'll make a vlog, man. You guys can meet a bunch of people and see what they have there because I've never been, it'll be my first time. And you know, we can, we can see, but let's, let's. And then here's my closet. And then here's me looking. See how, see how big this is though? You can't really see how big it is when I'm sitting down. This kind of looks fire though with the lace. Anyways, everyone, 
hopefully that was a good video 22 minutes of me rambling about nonsense but i want to make a chill video something you can sit back relax maybe sip on some tea some coffee oh by the way by the way i feel like i've my mr coffee machine oh you guys never saw that because i had the yosemite video but i never actually made the vlog so sad times but i love you guys let me know what you want to see from me my next video might honestly be like a photography video just shooting film chilling talking and yeah anyways peace out love you guys um hope you guys like this fleece because it's it was a it's a Mars release, so they actually had like a military. They did they made stuff for the military. And I'd never seen one that had like this I thought it was red at first, but I kinda want the cream one. I wanna get a small that has like the cream, whatever. But that that's what I have my eye on for the next fleece, because I never I never can buy enough fleeces. But I might sell this one. I don't know. It's a little big and I wanna get one that fits me better. I still want this fleece though, but just in a small shot. Anyways, the dead text are now.